Lynn Russell collected her children from school. The family took their usual walk through the Kent countryside, but this time they never reached their home. Good evening. It's a case that has shocked the nation, a motiveless murder of a mother and her child. Her second daughter is still seriously ill in hospital. With the help of information from Kent Police, we've reconstructed sightings of a suspect spotted near the murder scene. I'll be asking for your help to identify him later. The nation was horrified by the shocking news of the murder of a mother and her child as they walked home from school. It's now more than three weeks since Lynn and Megan Russell were killed. Josephine, Megan's sister, is still seriously ill in hospital. The killer is still at large. Please watch our reconstruction carefully because any clues you can give detectives could make all the difference. It was on July the 9th, the day the papers reported another dreadful crime, the stabbing of schoolchildren in a playground in Wolverhampton. I cannot <clears throat> answer the question why. It's beyond me. Disbelief was my first reaction when I heard what had happened to my family. Disbelief is my continuing reaction at the thought that anybody could do anything so, so crazy. A woman with two small children and a little dog. It's Tuesday. At about 4.10, Lynn Russell collects her two daughters, Josie and Megan, from school. Was it good? Together with the family dog, Lucy, they set off on their walk home through the countryside. It's a walk they make quite often and normally takes about half an hour. The family are seen heading across this field. They're spotted again here, minutes later, climbing over this gate. It's the last definite sighting of Lynn and her daughters. It's now about 4.20, and presumably they walk down Cherry Garden Lane, just a few hundred yards from the prominent local landmark, Chillenden Mill. This is as far as they get. Sometime between 4.30 and 4.45 p.m., the murderer strikes. The attack was horrific and brutal. The injuries were extensive, caused probably by a blunt instrument, possibly a hammer to the head on all of the victims. To speculate on a motive um, is probably improper at this time. One can only wonder at uh, what, uh, what the motive is. Around about quarter to five, a lady was driving her car along Buckland Lane, rounded a bend, and next to the junction leading down to the murder scene was a car in front of her. The car was light in colour, possibly beige. It was quite old. It uh, had possibly a GB sticker on the back and an, an anti-static strip, which was hanging down from the back bumper. There were also some noticeable square headrests uh, on the front seats, and it had black mud flaps. Less than a mile away, about 20 minutes later, a man out walking sees something that strikes him as suspicious. Although his view is from a distance, he sees a man in a distinctive red top standing beside a beige car, then climbing up a bank and looking around. He later calls the police, who discover one of the children's blooded bags hidden in the hedge near where the car was parked. There are features about both sightings that suggest they are linked. Uh, we think the car may be the same, the, the driver may be the same, and we're clearly very anxious to trace that driver as soon as possible. Somebody must know who's committed this wicked and evil act. He would have been covered in blood. He would have reacted in some way. It's vitally important that anybody who knows the identity of the killer to come forward before he gets the opportunity to do the same thing again. I can't imagine that anybody can be so cold and inhuman as to to have no feelings of guilt or it's difficult the theories fly back and forth is it a madman is it a person who cannot have such feelings i don't know but i would say to the person please give yourself up for the sake of yourself and others around you. I worry about the community locally here. Many people are living in fear still, unable to take their children out for walks in the countryside. He is effectively holding a whole region to ransom by not giving himself up. 
Detectives have released this EFIT of a man they want to question in connection with the murder. Call them now at the incident room on 01227 817043. That's 01227 817043. Remember, your calls will be treated in the strictest of confidence.